hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in it's your girl beloved and i'm back with a new recipe for the channel beloved catering service is a business where we make cakes meat pies ring donuts samosa spring rolls and all kinds of fruit drinks and fruit juices especially so bolo. we also make jollof rice and fried rice for all events and occasions you can contact us with the information provided on your screen guys as we all know this is a very festive season and also this month stands for the most precious month in my life because you know it's your girl's birthday this month and there's a whole lot to be celebrated since this month is my birthday month and also christmas to remember and with that being said i want to seize this opportunity to wish each and every december born here a very happy birthday not forgetting myself as well and i would also like to wish each and every one a merry christmas and a prosperous new year we hope that next year brings us so much good and so much happiness and also strong faith in god that I decided to make a very beautiful cake for myself today so let's jump right into making the birthday cake today we are making a red velvet and vanilla marble fort line cake ingredients for the birthday cake include three cups of buttermilk six tablespoons of cornstarch two tablespoons of baking powder one tablespoon of baking soda a quarter tablespoon of salt red gel food color two tablespoons of sweetened cocoa powder four tablespoons of condensed milk two and quarter cups of white granulated sugar eight room temperature eggs 700 grams of all-purpose flour two tablespoons of vanilla essence two tablespoons of white vinegar oil and then two and a half cups of butter. For the butter cream today we'll be using one and a half cup of white granulated sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla essence and then 400 grams of butter. Let's get started. Scoop the butter into a mixing bowl, add in the oil and then the sugar. Now with the aid of a hand mixer, Combine everything together until light and fluffy. Now add in the eggs and then mix it under 1 minute best. Add in the condensed milk, the vinegar and mix everything together. Now into another mixing bowl, pour in the flour, the cornstarch, the baking powder, the baking soda and then sift everything. stir everything together now pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and then use a spatula to combine these two together add in the buttermilk combine everything together and set it aside now divide the butter into two with the aid of the other mixing bowl that was used earlier into that mixing bowl add the red food color and then the cocoa powder. Stir everything together until the butter develops a very nice red color. Into the already greased baking tins, scoop the butters in tins so that everything in the mixing bowls is transferred into the greased baking tins. Sugar, three 
fourth cup of purified water, one tablespoon of vanilla essence, and then 400 grams of butter. But you can add the butter depending on the type of cake that you are making and the quantity of butter cream you will need. Pour the sugar into your frying pan, add in the water and then give it a little shake. Now place it on your source of heat and allow it to cook. Do not stir it as it cooks, just leave it on your source of heat. And when it starts to bubble up, take it off the source of heat and let it cool for about 10 minutes. After that, transfer it into the bowl containing the butter and then use the hand mixer to combine everything together until the butter has a spreadable consistency. Add in the vanilla essence and then your butter cream is ready. Let's assemble the cake. In all, we are going to be using six layers of cake and it includes four eight inch cakes and then two seven inch cakes. This is our setup for today's activity. We have our food color, the butter cream, our tissue, the cake board, the turntable, our piping tips, our chocolate chips, among others. To mix the butter cream into different shapes or colors, I decided to use a very easy method, which is the use of cupcake trays. To do this, I scooped some of the butter cream into the holes of the cupcake tray, added in the food colors and went on to mix them one by one. This saves a lot of time and also washing of a lot of utensils after the whole thing is done. After mixing all the colors, I decided to scoop them into transparent bags with the various piping tips that I will be using. I decided to improvise since I had only two piping bags left. To assemble the cake, place the cake board onto the tin table and secure them both with solution tape underneath. Scoop some of the butter cream onto the cake board and then use a pallet knife or an outside spatula to spread it evenly on the board. Now, since I used clean film to wrap some of the cakes, I decided to unravel it and then place it on the cake board. After that, I used a serrated knife to trim off the top layer of the cake a little bit and then drizzle it with the milk and vanilla syrup. You can check out that recipe on the channel. After that, I then spread some of the chocolate chips on it, added some of the frosting and then smoothed it out with the aid of the upset spatula. Now I added on to the cake the second layer, did the same and then proceeded to add on to it the 7 inch cake. I trim off the top layer, drizzled it with the syrup and then placed the chocolate chips on it. After that added the frosting, gave it a smoothing and then added on to it the fourth cake layer. After that I decided to crumble these four cake layers. To secure it, I added into the cake four straws, which I measured by the cake and then cut it into the preferred size or length and finally added it into the cake, with each straw facing the opposite side to the other. Then I went on to add a fifth cake layer, trimmed off any trimmer balls, added onto it the chocolate chips and then drizzled it with the syrup. introducing the flower designs with the aid of the colors we set aside earlier. Now, I piped my preferred designs onto the middle portion of the cake. I mean the part that has the smallest cake size. And the designs were flower designs. So to top it up and give it an elevated look, I added onto it leaf patterns with the aid of another piping tip. To the rest of the butter cream, some pink food color, gave it a little mix, and then decided to cover the top portion of the cake with it. Now I 
scoop some of their posts and it's one on a Bible back and go to them and give them dumb hearts. A portion of the butter cream. After that, I use the obsessed butter to sew the tail to myself. And then I went on to do the sweater of any parts that was needed. Now, since the cake topper we are using today has a similar color to the butter cream I used for covering the cake, I decided to make it out. And then after that was done, I decided to pour some of the gold dust into a bowl. Added a quarter tablespoon of vegetable oil and gave it a mix. This is the best method to color your cakes with gold dust since the buttercream and the oil can mix together at any time you combine them. Now I decided to paint the borders of the cake to give it an elevated look and a pop of glitter. Now I introduced onto the cake stop the cake topper and then some tiny sprinkles. And with that being said and done the red velvet and vanilla marble colors. is ready my birthday cake is done i've been dreaming about this type of cake for so long and finally i was able to try it out just believe in yourself every time you want to do something even though you've never done it before because you're going to get good results out of it happy birthday to myself and thank god for life and strength and this brings us to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching Kindly subscribe to the channel if you are new here and turn on your post notification icon so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video onto the channel. Also, I would like to say Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year to each and every one of you. May God see you through this year and also the year ahead. Till we meet again, dear viewers. Bye bye.